Place a straight edge across the speaker face to verify that it protrudes approximately 1 16th of an inch or 2 millimeters beyond the wallboard in each direction. Check that the speaker is not warped. A warped speaker frame will cause the speaker face to bulge. Before proceeding with any wall finishing, test each speaker with an amplified sound source. Test with music at listening volume. Make note of sound coming from high, mid and low frequency drivers of each speaker. Check for any rattling or vibration in wall or ceiling. Now is the time to correct any potential issues. After the registration and sound check, seam finishing can proceed. The speaker panel should be finished in place, similar to any other piece of wallboard. Self-adhesive nylon mesh tape is recommended due to its ease of use. However, paper tape is also acceptable. For best results, we recommend at least three light applications of joint compound sanding between coats. Use only air dry joint compounds and plasters for seam finishing. Do not use chemically curing joint compound. Allow 24 hours between each application of joint compound for complete drying. Failure to allow the joint compound to completely dry in between applications may result in fine cracking. The joint compound should be spread beginning 2 to 3 inches or 50 to 75 millimeters in from the speaker edge and then feathering outwards 16 to 20 inches or 400 to 500 millimeters in order to achieve a smooth flat transition. Because the speaker panel is a flexible surface, a sanding pad will have less effect in the center of the speaker than it will around the perimeter. If joint compound is allowed to build up in the center of the speaker, it will be difficult to sand off. Because the face of the speaker is flexible, Excessive pressure can deflect the speaker panel inward, quickly allowing a thick layer of material to build up, which will be difficult to sand off and adversely affect sound quality. Apply the joint compound around the perimeter of the speaker first, working carefully toward the center of the speaker as additional coats of compound are needed and applied. Be sure to feather the joint compound away from the speaker as to not build up more than a maximum allowed of 1 16th of an inch or 2 millimeters of joint compound over the face of the speaker panel. When sanding, imperfections in the application of the joint compound may appear. If so, additional joint compound and sanding may be needed to create a seamless transition. It is important that enough joint compound be applied around the speaker perimeter to make a very gradual transition from the surface of the wallboard to the face of the speaker panel. At this time, a very thin skim coat may be applied over the speaker if necessary to achieve a smooth, even finish. Some advanced finishing techniques and materials, such as Venetian plaster or heavy plaster coats, may require skimming over the front of the speaker. In these situations, it may be necessary to shim the speaker proud of the surrounding wallboard to avoid buildup of more than a sixteenth of an inch or two millimeters in thickness on the face of the speaker. Use the gray color of the linear response. X series speakers as a visual reference to gauge joint compound coverage or depth. Be careful not to exceed 1 16th of an inch or 2 millimeters of buildup. Mm -hmm. 
Sanding is the last important step before the painting begins. This can make or break the quality of the installation. Best practice may include the use of a flashlight to shine sheer light down the wall or ceiling in order to identify high or low spots in the finished work. Once sanding is complete, the wall is ready for painting. It is recommended that all unfinished wallboard and speakers be first primed with latex-based primer sealer. Light orange peel texture, light knockdown texture, wallpaper, veneer or level 5 finish may be applied. Heavy knockdown or trowel finishes are not recommended. Use a flashlight to shine sheer light down the wall or ceiling in order to identify high or low spots in the finished work before applying the final coat of paint. Linear response speakers are engineered for optimum audio performance with no more than 1 16th of an inch, 2 millimeters, of any material applied to the front surface. To exceed the 1 16th of an inch or 2 mm limitation will cause degradation of audio quality and may void warranty. Consult the installation guide for more information. Thank you for purchasing Linear Response Invisible Speakers. These speakers are crafted from high quality materials and with proper installation and care will last a lifetime. <music>